Hello everyone, it's me Perker or Varwatch. Hey guys, bring you another Call of Duty World War II Nazi Zombies video. And so in today's video, guys, basically I'm gonna be going over the super Easter egg that we'll be seeing within the run of World War II Nazi Zombies. Obviously, we're not even to the first DLC yet, so maybe this is a little soon, but I kind of want to be going over a possible storyline for what we'll possibly be seeing with it. And yeah, so um, we've already like gotten from the leaks and stuff that we're getting a super Easter egg, which I mean, why wouldn't they go with like what IW did. IW actually did very well at the end in DLC 4 after they had the Easter egg and all that cool stuff. So why wouldn't World War 2 take that same route? But essentially what the story behind this is, and total credit goes to Glitching Queen because she did lots of research on this. I'm kind of just summarizing what she said um, so that if you guys aren't subscribed to her or whatever, you still will know about it over here. So basically how this is going to go is when you go downstairs um, and you basically see the, the big like hilt with the sword within the final reich um you have that man there um he's like the king or whatever um and once again i'm really like i don't know much about the story at all kind of summarizing what she said but with um the whole king and all that stuff uh the germany he was the king of like germany or whatever it was or And there essentially is like the real story behind him and then there's legends behind him and it's looking like sledgehammer is going to be going the route of these different legends and stuff about this king um and essentially one of the legends is that this king went down um into a cave with his knights and he didn't uh he didn't die he went to sleep is what they said so um basically he was going to be sleeping within this cave and until um, basically he awoke then he would bring Germany back to um, the ancient good times uh, quote unquote is what he says so with that um, kind of following it within the final Reich and stuff like that is in the final Reich when we complete the casual Easter egg we get the uh, hilt or whatever um, and when we get that basically that's just one part to it so it's looking like these upcoming Easter eggs within like the few DLCs they're gonna be we're getting probably gonna get different pieces and then essentially at the end it's gonna guide all this power down into the cave to wake up this king and we're probably gonna find him for like are gonna fight him for whether it could be the dlc 4 boss fight but i'm guessing it'll be the super easter egg boss fight it wouldn't really make sense to just be the dlc 4 one if we're crossing between all the maps so we'll cross between all the maps um it'll give him power to wake up and then we'll have him for the boss fight within uh just a super easter egg after dlc 4 comes out um and that will lead into some pretty cool stuff as i said there's a ton more information along with this so if you do want to go to glitch and queen's channel and stuff like that uh you can go check her video out about it it was a lot more uh interesting than what i said basically because she knew the story she read up on it and stuff like that so it is very very awesome so um before i actually do in the video i will, so will say one other thing because i don't know if i'm gonna make a video about this or not i probably could though because it is pretty interesting stuff and i want people to get out on the hunt for it um essentially what i'm gonna be talking about today um for this section is that there has been like a little bit of a uh, teaser put out by one of the developers of World War II Zombies basically hinting at some sort of Easter egg with us I don't have the tweet with me right now because I wasn't essentially planning on putting this into this video But what he basically said in the tweet was to within World War II Zombies listen to what the zombies say They're not just speaking some random made-up language like the Apothecans would have within Black Ops 3 They're actually speaking a real language um, Whether that whatever that language is and we're supposed to be listening out for clues um, Glitching Queen also had stuff Stuff that where you can listen to the all the different uh, noises zombies make and listen to them do them backwards and stuff like that because unless there's anything hidden in there we're not too sure about um, but yeah guys so basically this is supposed to lead us to some sort of side Easter egg I'm not exactly sure where it's gonna lead us to but I'm glad that we're getting something like this we're getting a little bit of a hint because listening to the zombies no one really would have ever thought of that um, but yeah guys that's been it for the video today I hope you guys did all enjoy once again it was just a short one for today um, I kind of just wanted to get this news out to you guys um, get you looking for the uh, e Easter egg with the zombie noises and stuff like that and just to tell you about the super Easter egg if you're interested in that but yeah guys that's been it for the video I hope you guys did all enjoy make sure to leave like a comment and subscribe for more and I will catch you guys later peace everyone and see ya I'm a